everyone. So today I am talking about creating digital products as a Christian influencer. So as I mentioned in some of my previous videos, there are many different ways that you can be a Christian influencer in the online digital world. You know, blogging, uh, video vlogging, YouTube. But one really great one that's often overlooked as far as how much value and earnings potential it has is creating digital products. You know, even before COVID, marketplaces such as Etsy and other similar type places were a huge market for digital products is is sold right and if you actually go in there and look it's not just regular stuff bible study and prayer resources are a huge search um, market in those places and so what are we talking about here um digital files so like pdf you download they're actually people print them from home things like uh bible reading plans with study notes bible lessons um you know, worksheets and games and activities for children, for prayer, prayer journal inserts, um, your regular gratitude journal, anything gratitude. There's all sorts of games and activities that are, um, people want those in search in digital form. And once COVID hit, it drove that market just literally over the top because now everybody was stuck at home. And the only way that they could access things, they couldn't just run down to the store. They had to find places online that offered it. So this opened up a very huge opportunity for Christian creators to use their gifts and talents to tap into this market and earn an income for your family. So as far as being a Christian influencer in the digital kind of uh, printables realm, we're not just talking exclusively about Bible study or prayer resources. As a Christian creator, you may kind of more have a secular audience or talk about secular topics, but you provide resources that have a little bit of Jesus added into it. Things like productivity planners, um, non-Bible themed games and activities, homeschool worksheets, games and activities, all that kind of stuff. So if you are someone who just has that creative bug, and I get it, some people just don't have it. They really struggle with making cute, creative printables, but some people really have that. I am one of them. I love to get into Canva and just create stuff. And I like it better because unlike going to Michael's or Hobby Lobby, I don't spend as much money, right? We all know that person. Maybe that's you. If you are the mom who is always just creating stuff with your Cricut machine, or maybe you're helping make all the cool things for the PTA parties, um, whatever the case, use that gift that God has given you, that talent, to start providing an income for your family while also help spreading the love and message of Jesus Christ to people that you may never have had access to before. So I'm going to hop over into Etsy and I'm going to also show you a couple of other creators that I'm friends with that I know through, you know, just everything that I do and show you some of the different types of printables that they have created and turned into a regular money making endeavor. OK, so let's hop over there and share my screen here. All right. So, well, let's just first go into Etsy. So you can do keyword research in here. And if you just type in Bible study, you'll quickly see journals, printables, notes, stuff for kids. Um, and you can go into each of these and you'll see even more. And it gives you kind of the approximate search volume here. So I have a tool called Keywords Everywhere. You install it on your browser extension and it gives you this information. But even if we go prayer, uh, let's see, we can do pr printable prayer, journal, cards, guides, but let's go beyond that. You have homeschool principles here, right? Um, for the different grades and so forth. And so I know there's a lot of mamas out there that make their own stuff for their kids. And then that's it. It's just for your kids, for, for homeschool stuff. If you're making it and you feel it's a value for your own children, there are some other mamas out there who have like no inkling of that creative bug in them. And they are begging to find good, useful resources that they can print out at home and use for their own children. And so it's a win for both of you. Okay, so 
I'm not going to talk about how to set up your Etsy or anything like that on this video. I have another video for that, but I just want to show you some other things. So Etsy's a marketplace. You can sell stuff here and it does kind of the promotion for you because literally people go to Etsy and they can search for what they're looking for. You can also sell your products directly like from your own website and there's other platforms from which you can sell from as well. So my friend Mindy, um, she reaches a Christian mom audience and she has all of these, she saves them from her site, um, just different Bible games and Bible activities. Um, you have Advent stuff here, Daniel and the Lion, um, all these things, and she sells them from her website, and they're super, super, super cute. Uh, Teresa from Ladies Drawing Nye. Now, she has an Etsy shop, but she also sells the products straight from her website as well. So she has two modes, um, of two platforms that she sells them through. And she has Bible study worksheets. Um, she has journaling. I mean, her big thing is Bible study. So everything that she creates is to help Christian women. I mean, I guess men could download them too, but men typically don't like the pretty pastel stuff. But um, they, they're generic in nature, most of them. And she has like chronological reading plans, soap studies, and they're just sold right here on Etsy. Again, she does sell them directly from her website as well. Heather from Lessons from Home, she is a homeschool mama. Um, she creates a lot of really cute stuff. Uh, for her own children. And we talked about it. I was like, girl, you need to sell that stuff. And so she started uploading it um, to different platforms. And so she sells them directly from her website here. Uh, we have gratitude journals. It's like a coloring book that the kids can fill in. I mean, all that kind of stuff. Like moms want that kind of stuff. But either one, you're a mom that's just way too busy and don't really don't have the time to sit down and think. And Or maybe you're that plus you're like, yeah, I, I, I failed art right? Like I literally don't know how to put this stuff together. If you know how to do this stuff, help that mama out by offering what you know to her. There's the market, right? And then let's kind of flip the switch here to stuff that's not exclusively always um, Bible study in nature. So Ashley from Undoubted Grace, she actually has hers where you can get them in digital format and download at home, or you can order the books already bound. So that's another option. Um, let me scroll down here. So she has, uh, her whole thing is about productivity and organization for working uh, working moms. And so minimalism, um, you know, organizational type planning, things like that. And so she has these really cool, she has this restful routines roadmap. She has planners. By the way, planners are a huge search query on Etsy. Um, she has these other things. Now these all have a little bit of Bible in, infused in them, but the thing then in and of themselves, they're just what they are. Um, here's a mealtime planner, uh, cleaning routines, you know, all the stuff just that women need, whether you're a Christian or not, but we can always slide that little bit of Jesus in there um, and hope it catches, right? So these are just a few that I wanted to point out to show some different kind of possibilities. Again, I can't stress to you how big this market is and how, how fruitful it can be if you're willing to take the chance, get in there, put your own gifts and talent. Don't say, oh, that's just something I made for my kids. Well, if it's good enough for your kids, then it's good enough for other kids, right? So get in that mindset of, I'm really good at this. That means if you're really, really good at it, that is a gift God has given you. Use that gift to help spread God's message, give God glory, but use it also in a way that can show our financial blessings back onto you because that's what God wants us to do. Go out and share the gospel. And when we are obedient to him, he does shower us with blessings. So again, um, this was just kind of an overview. I mean, there's many more types of products that, you know, you could create. I would recommend going into Etsy and just do a bunch of searches printable, start with the word printable, um, and then just see what comes up, right? Visit your favorite website, see if they have a shop, what kind of um, printable type products, digital products are they selling? At the end of the day, it should directly relate to your market, your target audience. You know, if it's, if it's moms of little kids, then obviously the children's printables would be good. If you're trying to help uh, women of a certain age grow stronger in their walk with God, then, you know, the Bible study stuff might be appropriate, but whatever it is, there is a market for it and we need more Christian themed or Christian infused stuff out there so that more people have an opportunity to meet Jesus. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video.